Hello, I'm Dave Cavassier. Right now on your 13 Action News update, one person's dead, a toddler recovering after a shooting on the east side. Police believe a dispute between neighbors led to that shooting. It happened around 9 last night on Flamingo and Monterey Avenue. Police say they have four people of interest in custody. ESPN reports Max Pacioretty is headed to the Carolina Hurricanes after spending his last four seasons with the guys in gold. Nicknamed Patches by the fans who love him, Pacioretty played more than 200 games with the team. And now to a story that is positively Las Vegas. A couple of Raiders players are hanging with the future of football. Max Crosby and Denzel Perryman were on hand to teach local youth football players a thing or two. And this video from the gathering at team headquarters in Henderson. Kids had some pretty good moves, I'm told. Uh, Crosby said the event is all about giving back to the kids and just having a blast. An increase in humidity bringing isolated storm chances for the second half of the week. Today, right around 10%. We did see a couple spotty showers over the mountains earlier today. The radar should settle down once the sun sets, but it stays hot even through 10 p.m. We're in the triple digits. A light breeze and a mostly clear sky taking us into tomorrow morning. Our highs are capped slightly below 110 through the remainder of the week, and you can thank that uptick in humidity for it. That humid air helps to uh, influence a 20% storm chance both Thursday and Friday. So nothing too widespread or consistent, but the pop-up showers and storms, especially in the afternoon, favoring the mountains are certainly possible. That isolated storm chance right around 10% hangs out through the weekend into the start of next week. Thanks, Jenny. That was your 13 Action News update. You can always get the latest news at KTNV.com.